Luke and Lewis versus a Paralympic gold medalist in a 200 metre race. You might be thinking, that doesn't seem like a fair match for us. After all, look at me wearing Speedos. I'd rather not. This is Ben Popham. He just won a gold medal in the Tokyo Olympics. So to improve our chances of beating him, we've decided to cheat. Instead of Lewis and I swimming 100 metres each, we've formed a swim team of four unhealthily competitive and unhealthy swimmers. That team's name, the Prolapse. Four amateur swimmers versus one gold medalist. Who will win? Here's the catch though. I know nothing about swimming. Can you even swim 50 metres? Well, that's why we're here. Oh, okay. That's why we came early. Oh, we're going to find out. Yeah. It's not really a training session. We kind of just need a... More of a discovery session. <laughs> we need to find out if I can actually participate in the relay. <laughs> First up, cool little montage we filmed. Cool shorts. Oh, speedos underneath. Oh, did someone Sick. turn on the aircon? Because this oh. montage is cool. Shirts off, boys. Here we go. That is impressive. Cool. Here we go. That's what. That's the those money. Those are long. You know what that is? The money shot. Ooh, is she gonna take those socks off? Socks are cool. Oh, oh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. Oh, here's Keelan. <laughs> Next up, diving practice. Yep. Three, Seriously, five. we need practice. Keelan is the only one who's ever dive dove divined dove and before or forcibly dove? jumped into that water. Like it hurt. Meg was right. That absolutely came. Who had the best dive? Meg. <laughs> Next up, tumble turn training. This is how Michael Phelps does it. And this is how a professional does it. <laughs> it's actually fucking good. That was amazing. <laughs> and we practiced tumble turns for no reason at all because no one had to do a tumble turn during the race. But it was a bit of fun. Yeah, we didn't think of that. It was a bit of fun. Luke and Lewis shop. All right. Oh, he's alright. Act cool. Act natural. Oh, act like an athlete. Okay, so how confident are you feeling today, Ben? Yeah, look, haven't been back in the water since uh, since Tokyo. Yeah. So you probably called me at the wrong, the right time. Yeah. But yeah. I reckon you're probably still in trouble. I'll be honest. I reckon you're probably still in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but we tested before and I swam the whole fifty. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> Thank <man>. you. <laughs> sort of mandatory, you reckon? Yeah. I don't know. We weren't too confident actually coming. That's why we walked up early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, not really mandatory, nothing bad is going to happen if you don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you'll be kicked from the team. Yeah. The team has been assembled and Ben Popham is ready to thrash us. The race was almost about to begin. But just quickly, you might notice something in this video. Keelan, who used to be a competitive swimmer when he was younger, was taking this way too seriously. I'm ready? I'm still not Goal, create funny, good video. A misalignment in goals has happened somewhere along the line Ooh. because Luke's like, let's do this, this will be funny. Keelan is going, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, I, I have to win. Felt it happen, I went, fuck, I have to win. And I couldn't reasonably not think that. I couldn't make myself think any other way. I was like, I have to. Three, two, one, go! Keelan was off to a flying start. Some might call it a trying way too hard start. Some would call it showing no mercy. He's just gone out of his way to fucking thrash a disabled man in sport. <laughs> <laughs> just dominating. Just absolutely pumping harder than he ever has before. And I have seen this man pump hard. <laughs> <laughs> But despite Keelan's efforts, the race is still incredibly close with Ben just behind Keelan. Next up, we have Meg. Is that Meg? Yeah. Yep, that's Meg. Sorry, it's hard <laughs> to tell underwater. After a good start from Meg, Ben started moving up in the field. Then Lewis Spears jumps in the pool. He pretty much just dove to the end. Look, I'm embarrassed. Some people might notice that I too am trying far too hard. Fun fact, uh, Lewis actually threw his neck out for a week swimming this leg. Yes, this is the last <laughs> swim I ever had for many weeks. I still haven't swum that fast because I really hurt my neck. I'll be swimming in the same division as Ben after this race. And then we saved the best till last, just in case we needed catching up to do. Well, incorrect. We worked out just before this race that Luke could barely complete 50 metres. Yeah, and it's because I didn't want to do a dive, so I was like, can I go at the other end? I still won comfortably. Well, you didn't even finish. I was taunting him, I think. Oh, okay. Great Good sportsmanship. Great sportsmanship. You yep. don't see that in the Paralympics, do you? <laughs> no. You don't see the contestants stopping a meter before the line. <laughs> Pro <Pro-lapse>! What? <laughs> Pro <Pro-lapse has> some speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Well done, 
my god. Even Ben is shocked at how much we tried at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. It literally was four on one. <laughs> Celebrate, but not too much. The race is over with the first win of the day going to the Pro Lap swim team, yes. who are incredibly happy about their win despite definitely cheating. 4v1, not fair at all. Let's try this. Luke Kidgel versus Ben Popham in the 100 metre race. Time for the final race. Ben Popham, Olympic athlete, gold medalist versus Luke Kidgel, guy who used to be good at running. The 100 metre race is Ben Popham's specialty. This is what he won the gold in. After our first race, I went into this feeling very confident and I quickly realised why only one of us here has a gold medal. I'd say it's like running around in my own backyard. Yeah. yeah. My biggest achievement is uh, that I swam 50 metres 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Are we ready, gentlemen? Yeah. Ready? Set, go! And they're off. Brilliant start by Ben here. Horrific start by you, Luke. I was tapering. I was reserving my energy for the rest of the race. Oh, he's charging up here. You can yeah. see he's charging up. And then here I give up. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, the prolapse has a secret weapon. The power of cheating. I've jumped in the pool here. I've only got about 20 metres left to go, and I'm swimming my hardest, and Ben is still absolutely trashing me. <laughs> I was panicking that was Luke for a second. <laughs> Not the first time Lewis has been trashed by a Paralympian. Insert running footage. <laughs> oh, my second loss to a Paralympian. He's always there. And as you can see here, a deliriously tired Luke Kidgel hasn't noticed the race is over, didn't see me cheat for him, and has decided valiantly to finish the race by himself. Because heroes finish. I'm the Eric the Eel of her. <laughs> How do you do that on a regular basis? Well done. I can't believe cheating didn't work. Look, dude, would you like to be an honorary member of the Pro Lab Swim Team? I would, actually. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Our first Olympian. First of five. There you have it. Our team won the first race with a healthy dose of cheating. And we lost the second race because we didn't cheat enough. Moral of the story? When going up against a Paralympian, cheat. Don't give him a fair fight. Thank you very much to Ben Popham and our apologies for cheating so much. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe for more banger vids and the extended uncut race with bonus commentary is up right now on our Patreon as well as a bunch of bonus secret podcast episodes. Check it out in the description below. Luke and Lewis, subscribe, like, goodbye. Goodbye.